Hello, I wanted to do another video from the last one that I did. Um, something I was thinking about earlier uh, through conversations with others and through, um, you know, I guess just things that, you know, in general, from the last one that I did about basically uh, the gospel, uh, saving by faith through Christ, not apart from the law. Uh, the Bible speaks of having an appearance of godliness, but some deny its power. 2 Timothy 3 5. Obviously, we have verses like these. The question is, uh, what exactly does this mean? <laughs> is Paul now speaking of work salvation in this verse? Paul in Galatians berated the uh, congregation uh, in Galatians, uh, uh, in, yeah, in Galatia, in Galatians, the book of Galatians, simply because they wanted to add circumcision to uh, to to the mix uh, just a simple little thing circumcision uh, the question uh, he set forth in chapter uh, 3 1 is utmost important did you receive the spirit through the works of the law or by the hearing of faith and we already know what that faith is I've already kind of went through the videos but basically it is uh, you know I think it's the gospel you know I've uh, I mean, darn, there's no, no, no way else around it. Uh, elsewhere, Paul counted everything as done for the sake of knowledge of Christ. Philippians 3, 8 through 10. With all their trouble in Cor Corinthians, Paul still considered uh, the Corinthians as brothers. 1 Corinthians 1, 1 through 2 speaks of uh, the fact that he called them the church. He didn't berate them. He didn't, you know... Seems like those who were wanting to go to the law uh, for salvation, Paul berated. Those who were struggling in sin, Paul, you know, encouraged them. Uh, gave them the gospel, basically. Uh, I mean, not to say that he didn't give the Galatians the gospel. We have good statements in Galatians of the gospel. Um, so what is godliness? Uh, is it works or is it something else? Elsewhere, the same apostle... Uh, Paul speaks of the uh, mystery of godliness in 1 Corinthians 3 uh, 16. Uh, let me turn there real quick. Real quick, because you know I don't want to have this video too long. And, you know, I don't know if I can log into an internet access here where I'm at. But, anyways, this is what Paul says. Uh, he says, But if I tarry long uh, in verse 15, that of uh, first Timothy 3 15 uh, but if I tarry long that thou that you may know how you ought to behave thyself in the house of God which is the church of the living God and the church is the pillar in ground of truth they speak the truth they hold the truth they hold the scriptures as true and well and without controversy controversy great is the mystery of godliness God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. So, going back to my notes here. Uh, so, he speaks of the mystery of godliness as the gospel. of You know, what Christ did, basically, the mystery of godliness. We know that the mystery of godliness is the gospel because in verse 9, well, even in verse 8, he's speaking to deacons. Likewise, must the deacons uh, be grave, not double tongue, not given much wine, not greedy of filthy uh, 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 lucre, or I can't say the word, <laughs> uh, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. Uh, so in verse 9 of the same chapter and book, he speaks of deacons needing to hold the mystery of the faith. Everywhere throughout the Bible, the testimony is that we are, we are sinners and that only God alone saves by his mercy and grace. Ezekiel 36, 25-38. You can go read that. That's a good book and chapter and, you know, I mean... We can get through uh, everything else later on, of course. But uh, Titus 1, 13 through 16, speaks of people who uh, who profess to know God, but deny Him by their works. Matthew 7 seems to correlate. But, uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, darn it. I hate it whenever I can't read my own handwriting. But uh, what uh, what is being said is not uh, work salvation. We we are purely saved by uh, the alien righteousness of Christ alone. These people who Paul has was speaking of were people who boasted in their own good works. We haven't sinned uh, like uh, like they have. Uh, we haven't done those things that uh, that are horrible. We don't smoke, we don't drink, and we don't go out with those who do, you know, or we don't, you know, sin as much as someone else does. Uh, I mean, I'm not, obviously what I'm not saying, you know, no doubt, uh, you know, uh, we we don't want to confuse people, I guess, if, if you want to say that we are. We are not encouraging people to run around and murder or do anything of such. That's that's the common, you know, I think that's the common belief of everyone who's living today. I mean, except for a few bad apples, of course. But, you know, we're not trying to, you know, it's not like we're encouraging people to go out and sin. But the fact is, we do sin. And the gospel alone is the answer to that. You know, so uh, anyways, I guess that's it. Uh I'll bring out another one whenever I can. So, 